Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhoffs here. Today I would like to hand color my black and white photo, which I call People of Torrey Pines. This is Torrey Pines State Beach. These are the bluffs at Torrey Pines. This is in La Jolla, California. Lifeguard towers, and in the back here you can also see the Scripps Pier. So I'm gonna, uh, this is printed at 24 by 12 inches, and as you can see I put lines here, because I'm going to frame it later as a triptych. I'm going to color it with acrylic glazes and to make glazes I use this golden gloss glazing liquid mix that with my uh, acrylic paint as you will see later and then use some small brushes to uh, add the paint to the photo so let's do this so let's start with the bluffs Take some of the glazing liquid. Don't think we need too much. Burn sienna. You don't need much paint for this. Actually, it's more of the glazing liquid that we need. Take it add of the paint don't add too much at once it's better to start off with a lighter color because you can always add more paint otherwise you have to add more of the glazing liquid and I think this is plenty we have here so this actually might be a good color for the beach I want that very light Oh, so you are still too light. So let's take a little bit more of the burnt sienna. Okay, now I have probably overdone it. But this might then be a good color for the bluffs. Let's see. Well, it's still pretty light when you put it on the photo. So I actually printed this photo myself with my Epson P20000 inkjet printer. And you saw in the intro that I sprayed it with a varnish. Um, and you need to do that when you want to color your photos with acrylics like this. Otherwise the, the ink will run. So I sprayed it, actually I let it dry for like a whole day and now it won't run. Now the, the, the paint will nicely also stick to the, to the photo. There we go, that's pretty subtle. So for the bluffs I would like to add a little bit more of the paint. So I shot this photo about 10 years ago. This is one of my earliest ones when I started doing the beach theme. Torrey Pines was the first beach I went to and this is one of them. I also got images of all the individual towers. I love these towers. They have been here for decades. They stand on these uh, concrete poles. And there's like two more beaches in the San Diego area where they have them like this these permanent lifeguard towers. Here at Torrey Pine State Beach there are five of them. 
and then there's more at Cardiff State Beach, <coughs> sorry, San Alejo State Beach, which is north of here, and even further north in Carlsbad at South Carlsbad State Beach, there's like four more of these permanent lifeguard towers. I kind of want to avoid going over these people here, especially the ones with, I don't care about the, the ones with the dark clothes, but the white shirts, I would like to keep those white. So because this is one of my earlier photos, I limited my number and limited my images. So this is actually almost sold out. I only have six left at this size. What I'm doing now, I'm adding a little bit more color here and there, so it's not just one value everywhere. See, there's some variation now in the intensity of the color. So that's that. Now let's do the towers. And for that we need fresh glazing liquid. Not much. Thalo blue. You might need more, this might be too subtle. Yeah. Need more of that. So I'm not using a lot of pressure at all, because otherwise you this is, you wipe it right off again. So I'm almost not touching the paper. And I'm trying to avoid going over this railing of this tower number four. Going in between here. D 
Okay. And then the last two towels. Okay, it was a little too much paint. Okay, and then let's add a little bit of yellow. Oops, that's way too much. Pick up a little, mix it in here to make it a little bit more aqua. And we're going to add that to the water. And here I'm trying to avoid to go over the whitest part of the water so the breaking waves still stay white. And this part is not really a breaking wave. I think this is a lot of reflection here. And looks good, that's it. And so the next step is to frame it nicely as a triptych. And here we have it, my photo called People of Toy Pines, framed as a triptych, printed on inkjet paper with my printer, coated it with a spray, with a varnish, and hand colored that with acrylics.